stroke a one on one here um, on another book review. So that's good. This is going to be good. It's going to be a bit exciting trying to get the chair level with the camera. Yay, let go. Um, we're going to do a book review today on how to handle your teacher. Um, so, just going to move a bit close to the camera because I'm like miles and miles away. Um, this book I'll probably rate about a four because of its funny. It helps um, on a few things, but the reason it's not up to five is because of. Um, I like the funny books, but I prefer action and mystery books. But that's just my opinion. So in your opinion, it could be a five because of it helps you with a few things. A few things they don't really help with. They're not just they're just a bit of a joke to mess around with. But yeah, so I'll read a couple of pages of it. And so yeah, it's four stars. And I'll just read the first few pages because of it's quite a good book. Under no circumstances you mu must you allow a teacher to get hold of this book. Some teachers can read, and if they read this book, they will get to know teacher handling strategy. In other words, they will be forewarned. And as proverb says, forewarned is forearmed. And if thoughts this warning was dreadful, it's not compared to a forearm teacher. I told you there are th two things you can do to make sure your teacher doesn't read this book. You can put it somewhere your teacher will never find it, like in a block of reinforced steel. 20 meters under a school playing field. The trouble with this solution is that you'll need a JCB teaming drill and a team of navies every time you want to read a bit of it. Two, you can disguise the cover so that the teacher would ever dare to pick it up, let alone read it. A kind of undercover overcover. A suitable undercover overcover disguise can be found opposite. This is Mr. Grot. He kept the caretaker's copy. Teachers don't touch. Or else I shall put super glue on your chair and I'll tell their head to put both Lady Lupskittle and Felicity Fullmouth in your class next term. So the so there. Yeah. Boo sucks. Signed in blood. Eric Grot, school caretaker. It all started like this. I was a wonderfully balmy summer's evening. I just spent a couple of hours surfing the net. And I'll tell you the truth. I had finally decided that trying to fish from a surfboard was a bad idea. When I went home, I logged on and checked my computer mailbox for emails. There weren't any. That's uh, trying to surf with a net. So, I checked my other mailbox for females instead. A young girl jumped out. She had a mountain bike in one hand and a large white envelope in the other. This is for you, she said. Thanks very much, I replied. I always wanted a mountain bike. No, not the mountain bike, the girl retor retorted. The envelope, read it, pea brain. To that bloke, what writes them out, Terrandal books? The girl leapt on her saddle and pedalled off. I felt very hurt. This was because I was still holding on to the saddle at the time. I went back inside, put my feet up on the sofa and tore open the envelope. That's 
so putting the feet up on the sofa. So that was a short one today, guys. Um, but yeah, we're gonna end it here. Um, so, shackle on, peace out.